Hello everyone, so I literally just got done beating Brock, and I actually just got done crafting a, a new team. Um, so this is it, it's literally the same exact team as when I fought Brock, but instead of Rhydon, I put on, um, I put on Jolteon, which I think is a good decision, because, you know, we're going to the water gym, so... Okay, so first up, I see four water types, so, um... Looks like Jolteon's coming out to play. I'll bring Starmie and Articuno. I'll switch into Articuno if they have that Diglett. And as we learned from that one guy, um, in Brock's gym, Articuno can live a Rock Slide. Oh wait, no, their Diglett missed Rock Slide. But Brock's Onyx actually hit my Articuno with a Rock Slide, and I ate that up for breakfast. It wasn't even close to killing me. I'm so shocked. I don't even- I'm more shocked that Onyx outsped me. That Poliwhirl is so dead. My god. <laughs> what if, like, there's actually people here with electric Pokemon I left right on back there? That would, uh, that would not be cash money. I'm guessing your last Pokemon's like Cloyster. Don't. Okay, okay. I thought I would know Dig. Okay, um, I can afford to miss another Thunder, but I would rather not. Actually, Gengar does really good here, too, because, um... Oh, no. Oh, no. We're getting Pokemon Stadium this early, too. We're only on the second gym. Did I even pick Gengar? No, I didn't. Yeah, Gengar is good because he actually knows Thunderbolt. Which is pretty nice, especially since we're at the water gym. Okay, we finally connected. That should kill. Nice. I know I've said this once, I'm going to say it again and maybe a million more times. If I ever played Pokemon seriously, like I mean competitively, like I mean VGC, those tournaments, I swear, dude, I swear to God, all my Pokemon would have moves that have 100 accuracy. I wouldn't mess around with this at all. I wouldn't have some shenanigans where it's like, oh, well, I have Thunder on my Jolteon for when the rain's set up so I can have 100% accuracy. What if the rain's not up? What if what if Torkoal shows up? What if Tyranitar, you know, Alolan Ninetales? What, what about all these people? Like... No, 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 no. I need 100% accuracy. Unless I'm trying to be funny and, and ruin somebody's day with, like, I don't know, a rock slide or something. Make them flinch. Or if it's, like, really just that good. Which even then would be questionable. Like, I think Tornadus learns, like, a move. I think it's called Bleak Wind Storm. And it's like a really, really strong, um... I almost said wind move, and then I changed it to air move, and then I realized it's called a flying move, obviously. And it's a special move, but it has like 80 accuracy, but it's a spread move, and I think it always drops their speed if it hits. Like, to me, that move is so overpowered, okay, we could talk. But enough about that, let's come back here, and this team is like very well-rounded. This is... you have one water Pokemon. My team is not equipped for this. Oh my god, they have an Electrode. Why? Yeah, Electrode kind of beats my whole team. I didn't bring Rhydon. Rhydon would have been good here too, because they have a Pidgeot. Oh, brother. Um... And they have Kadabra for my Gengar, too. I was gonna lead with Gengar. This is disgusting. Yeah, this is disgusting. I might lose. How will the gym's second opponent conduct battle? We'll need a strong effort to win. They knew. So really, the only way I see myself winning is I need Jolteon to really mess up this Electrode. And I need to do it with the power of Toxic. Flash? 
Oh, wait a second. I actually do remember this trainer from round one. She would use, like, smoke screen and flash to drop my accuracy. And it looks like that's their strategy again? Because I saw the Kadabra. What is going on? Do you not have a lightning move? Oh my, yeah, lightning. Electric move. Do you not have an electric move? Hello? No. I'm not switching. What's that? There, it's a hit. One toxic, that's all it takes. What's this? The move failed. One toxic, that's all it takes. What'll it do? Good hit! Oh no, three more of those is gonna kill me. What now? Yay! Uh, now what? I didn't think I'd get this far. I'm gonna swap back to Stormy, actually. So I'm guessing it doesn't know Thunderbolt, and it's just here to, like, troll people. I hope so, or else I'm in, like I said, big trouble. Oh my god, a crit. You know what's funny? I was actually going to go for Minimize, but then I just realized, oh yeah, it's Swift. Alright, let's go for a Bubble Beam. Please don't know. It, I get, no, it doesn't know Thunderbolt. It was a false alarm. Now, if I know the computers in this game, this thing has to swap out next turn, because it's afraid of the poison. I don't know why it's like that, I just know it's going to do it. It always swaps out after the second. Man, I wish I had ride on. Or really any ground type for that matter. Great, now I'm on the back foot against this round two trainer. Oh, it's Pidgeot. I noticed that this one has 180 health, whereas the last one I saw had 179, so the Pidgeot's actually getting stronger. I'm guessing you don't have Doug Trio, or else you would have swapped. Alright, well, I just killed Pidgeot in one turn, that's nice. I'm guessing the Pidgeot didn't know Quick Attack. But fairy, I know exactly what to do. It's not my favorite thing, but it is more accurate than thunder. There we go. Now there's no way you win this. Oh, oh, really? Nice one, by the way. Nope, I'm not missing thunder. I'm going for double kick. I hope you go for another flash, so you can suffer with that poison. That's probably why that electrode even went for explosion. It was like, well, I don't feel like swapping out, so I'm just going to unalive us both. The, why did you even go for flash in the first place? You have body slam. Here comes another double kick. I like how jolty on those double kick. Like that did a decent amount. And I don't have to risk missing. Alright, that is GG's. And as always, Jolteon carried us. Thank god that Electro didn't know Thunderbolt. The explosion caught me off guard, but as you can see, it didn't really matter. But if it knew Thunderbolt. That would have been really bad, especially since it hit me with the flash and then I was missing Toxic. Because even though I resist Thunderbolt, it would still go for it, knowing that it does more damage than Swift. But whatever. But who's the next person? The first person was the Fisher. 
Then the junior trainer. Oh, the next one's the swimmer. Okay. They're a swimmer. They're all over the ocean on the way to Cinnabar Island. They have to have water Pokemon, right? Let's see. Was I correct or incorrect? Oh, yeah. They've got water Pokemon. Oh, this one should be easy. I just literally spam Thunder. Jolteon... Wait, wait. Who would be... Oh, I know, I know. I'm not- I was gonna bring Starmie to resist the water, but I don't want to miss Thunder, so I brought Gengar instead. Nothing can stop my Thunder. You have no immunities. You don't even have a resistance. You're, this is your resistance right here. Wigglytuff. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna click Toxic because it is more accurate. I like Toxic if you couldn't tell. See, if that was Thunder, I would have missed. Oh, it knows Body Slam. Wait, wait, don't worry, guys. You want to know why? Oh, man. Oh, if I knew it was going to do that, I would have done this earlier. But now I'm going to go into Gengar. And I'm assuming this Wigglytuff can't do anything unless it has a dumb move like Thunderbolt or something. Alright, well, anyway, I can just spam Thunderbolts now. I am expecting this thing to switch. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? Yep, I don't care, Thunderbolt. Oh, it stayed in. It must know Thunderbolt then. Oh, I didn't do too much. Psychic! Why is this Wigglytuff actually giving me problems? Alright, well, funny enough, I have to switch back to Jolteon right now. This was supposed to be an easy battle, man. Ooh, really? Okay. Primeape. So you, you switched out from Wigglytuff into Primeape against my Gengar. Are you kidding me? It went for Dig. Alright, well, I gotta go into Zapdos now. Nice one, Jolteon. Dang it. Why did Jolteon have to get paralyzed? I mean, actually, I could just go for Sky Attack. That is what I'm gonna do, just because Sky Attack's more accurate than two Thunders. It went for Double Edge. There's no way that's a two hit on me. Dude, I ate that up for breakfast. I thought it would no rock slide. Alright, I hope you stay in. Yep, they did. Even a crit can't kill me. What now? Yep, good. Here it comes. I thought I was gonna miss, honestly. That would have been horrible. I don't even know why they they do that to Zapdos. What? I guess it's strong, but I'd obviously rather have Drill Peck. It's just horsey. There's no way we lose this. Am I faster? I should be faster, right? Okay, cool. You never know. Yeah, it's good. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. Yeah, this Wigglytuff definitely does not live a thunder. It's not gonna be okay. That? Oh, I missed. Um Okay. Well I should live that. that? Yum. Hit. You lost 14 of your health. I mean, even if I miss a Thunder, Gengar should be able to finish you. Nice. I hate Thunder so much, yet yeah, you basically need it to survive. Alright, well I was expecting him. 
you know, more than horsey, but, uh, whatever. I mean, you have four water types, but we won! So, time for the gym leader. We know their boss Pokemon is Starman, which is pretty scary. Who else do they have? Hmm. Uh, hmm. I'm thinking... Dolteon, Zapdos, Articuno. Yeah. This is it! The battle against Misty, the Cerulean gym leader, and the maiden of water Pokemon! Mm. Let's see what the challenger has in store for her! That Starmie's probably faster than me anyway. I'm gonna go for Thunder. Yeah. I'm faster? What? Is it a speed tie? Like it lived. Oh no. No! The Thunder Wave! No! No. Okay, I'm gonna do something probably a little silly. I'm gonna go for Double Kick. Just cause, uh, I think it can't miss, so it's, you know. Oh, my special went down. That's kind of annoying. This this has to kill, right? Double kill. Yeah, cool. Alright, that was uh, oh, the Pokemon I was that? most worried about. It got kind of an annoying what special drop. But, we should be okay. Blastoise. How will the type difference affect that? I don't know. I mean, it could no Earthquake. I mean, this is a boss in the game, so... But it could also just kill me with a Water Move, so I'm not gonna bother switching to Zapdos. Yep, here comes the Water Move. It's a good thing I didn't switch. That's definitely gonna kill me with a special drop. Yep. See, if I had Thunderbolt, I wouldn't be worried, but I have Thunder, so there's a chance where we don't win this battle. I also kind of hope their last Pokemon is either Dugtrio or Executor, because I brought Articuno. Dodge it! No. Oh, I can live another one. Oh, it died in one hit. Out of boys, Aptos. That must have barely killed it. I'm really surprised I killed it. It's Dugong. Uh oh. Yeah, I, I kind of need to land a Thunder against this thing because Articuno. That's not going to be it, man. Okay, that should do a lot. Okay, cool. Aurora Beam? You don't have Ice Beam? I think I'm gonna live that pretty convincingly. No, not my attack power. That Dugong's throwing. It doesn't have Ice Beam. It's over, man. We beat Misty. Zapdos had enough back there. Zapdos missed the first thunder, said no more. Dang. I'm surprised they brought all three water types. You, I think the reason they have those Pokemon is to counter, you know, you. Because obviously, what, what's a good type against water? Electric. So she has a ground type and a grass type. So... Alright, cool. Up next will be Surge in the next video. I, I do remember Surge being quite difficult from my childhood, so uh, this should be interesting. Stay tuned.